family. I'm gonna jump right into it. You guys already know how I make my cornbread. I got the cornbread here. I got, woo hoo, that thing is hot. Got sweet potatoes in here boiling. I'm gonna make some, um, this, this is not gonna be, actually, I'm gonna make my mama's cornbread dressing. So I just figured I'd just turn the camera on. I'm just getting here and just getting the cooking and do not stop. So you guys stay tuned, okay? Big guy, watch out. They we roll. They call them big guy, big guy. And we be going here. Got the Holy Trinity here. I got the celery, got the onions, and the bell pepper. Uh, sweet potato still going. Uh, chicken broth is going. Got um, about five or six uh, drums in here. Lit uh, chicken drumsticks. And uh, cornbread is going in here as well. Get some uh, chicken, like some barbecue chicken. Some real, some real quick. Some real quick. So I'm gonna have these guys here marinating. So they gotta go in the air fryer here. So these guys got a little vinegar. Got some seasoned salt here. Mm -hmm. Let these go for like maybe about 20 or 30 minutes. A little soy sauce in them too. Let them marinate with that. Here we go. Oh, you got them pot going. They going. <laughs> Nothing like a holiday. Nothing like a holiday. Yeah. Cornbread is out. So I'm going to let it cool off. I'm going to taste the piece. <laughs> then we're going to um, go get this dressing and stuff in this. Cornbread. Who, who, who eats their cornbread like this? Look at that. Perfectly cut square. Perfectly cut square. It's nice and moist. Yes, sir. Yeah, look at that. So now you take it. Uh, this is old school, back in the day. This is, you only do homemade cornbread like this. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at that. You used to cut it, cut it in the middle, put the butter in the middle, and then put the syrup on the top. This just came out. That butter should melt nice. Look at that. Old school. Homemade. Take your fork. And you go through it. Mm -hmm. nice I got several who used to eat their cornbread like that. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna get my hands. <laughs> mm. Mm. So good. So good. Add you some more butter. Let me add you some more um syrup too. Gonna add some more syrup too. There you go. There we go. Yeah, that's good eating. That is good eating. Look at that. Syrup and cornbread. All right, welcome to the country. Mmm. This is good, so. All right, on to the next. Guys, back at it. Got the cornbread all chopped up and smashed up. I'm adding um, bell pepper now. The bell pepper, I got my celery right here. Got that as well. Of course, the onion. Gotta add the onion, what they call the Holy Trinity. Go ahead and add all of this in there. Nice little flavor. Yes, sir. You guys go in and gonna mix it. And then over here, I have my homemade chicken broth, so I'm gonna put that in here um, when I feel like chicken is ready. So, you guys stay tuned, okay? Go ahead and put in milling a stick of butter to go in the dressing, so I'm gonna get that done. Make sure it's all mixed up, little lumps and chunks out of it. Get as small as possible. It's pretty. Mama, 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 so <laughs> cornbread dressing. <laughs> Take a box of stove top um, just for the for the flavor for the flavor because you know it's only um, bread crumbs and seasoning in it. So let's go ahead and get this open. Stove top, just space the back just in it. Split the bread and season. That's it. Bread and season. That's it. Close that down. And on it, seasoning that good seasoning. It smells really good too. Go ahead and get that mixed up in there. It's really what the butt is for, this, this um, box of uh, stuffing. Add that, I'm gonna add the water in there, so I'm gonna add my chicken broth as well. Once, it's, once I feel like the chicken is done and the broth is nice and, and, and um, flavorful, I'm gonna add that. So. All right, you guys, stay tuned. 
chicken out of the refrigerator, marinating. So I'm gonna get rid of this marinade because I don't need it no more. Pour it off. All right, got them all poured off. All right, guys, go ahead and add me some sazon to these guys. Yes, sir. So flavor, give me a little flavor, color more coloring. Okay. Oops. <laughs> some adobo. Enough to coat it and cover it. Adobo. Some paprika. Paprika. Get some Tony Creole. Okay. Tony Creole. the way you normally like to season your chicken. And um, make sure it's all covered. And then they got it all pretty, it's going to add them to the air fryer. It's just use another level of cooking um, to offset, you know, what the plants and stuff are using. Because of course the stove is occupied. And while the stove has been occupied, you throw these things in the air fryer. It does have a chicken setting. And we're gonna use that. So keep your eye on it though. Keep your eye on it. I'll take it for granted because everybody don't cook the same. And uh everything is just not cooked evenly. So. Alright, we're gonna get these guys all up in here and uh, we're gonna get started cooking right guys. Got them all up in there. Close them up, go to, to chicken. party does not stop <laughs> the butter's ready to add the butter to the, the dresser you know cornbread dresser okay stick and butter get butter mixed up through there uh, another layer of flavoring okay hey guys you know what makes the dressing i mean it's a, a stuff and the stuff is sage so just make sure you taste it a little bit and see um how the sage is, or the flavor of it. I think it need a little bit more, but um, I think it's good. Cause I'm about to add the, uh, the homemade chicken broth. Guys, okay, so got the um, homemade broth ready. Just took all the chicken out of it. And we're gonna use probably that for a gravy. But for now, let's go get this guy's first. I had one hand, guys, so <laughs> me too. And I, had to, I went ahead and poured some of this broth in it. So I'm gonna keep pouring it so I'm happy with the consistency of it. So of course, right there, as you see, it needs some more. Okay, put more in there. I don't want it too loosey goosey, but we don't want it too stiff either. We want to make sure that the gravy, I mean, um, the dressing, the cornbread dressing is nice and loosey. Well, juicy, not really juicy, but moist. Like on this side right here, how this is, it's good. Well, maybe a little bit thicker, but let's see. Loose it up a bit more. It smells de delicious. So we almost there. Almost there. Guys, go ahead and butt up your pan. And we're gonna get this guy ready and see the consistency. It's a good consistency here. And we want to dry out on here. Right, let me go ahead and add this over here. Get this guy poured it poured in here. Good. Right. Perfect though. Going to spread them out to the edges as evenly as possible. Thank you. 
right. I got one hand, so I mean two hands, so put this guy in the oven, 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, so make sure you cover him up, but at least for the first minute of 45 minutes, and then you can take it off and crisp it up the top if you wanted to. Yeah, the party train don't stop. Now we on to the sweet potato pies. I went in and boiled them with the skin on. I tried it last time and I liked it, when they turned out really nice. So we're gonna take these guys out of here so they can cool off. And then we're gonna take them to the next level. They were big too, that's a big one. in the oven, so just let them cool off, you know what I'm saying? So, you go from there. Hey, y'all, gonna check out the chicken. I'm gonna take it to somewhere, so this is what I'm say, chicken. Of course, this is the, the dressing. The, really, the dressing is banging. Of course, it gotta be on that wine. But just wanna show you guys some Christmas stuff, and um, I'll probably bring some more footage, but we'll see. But for now, this is what I did for my house. All right. 